Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D Free. Here today we are going to go over the Vegeta's lineage category skill and our leader skill and try to discern what some of the best team options would be for you guys. Some replacement options and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy, have fun, hit that subscribe if you are new. If you enjoy these types of videos and you want to see more, let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Obviously people want to see Goku, so I'll be coming back with a Goku one at some point soon. And uh, if you have any other ones you want to see, for whatever the case, let me know. Today's video like all though, if you enjoy it is a thousand likes so the top row the top couple of rows we have the entirety of the vegeta's lineage leader skill these guys are the people that have it as of right now of course the main leader is the one you want to shoot for but if not these two do have it as well i believe at 123 key clips so three key 120 and three key 120 as well so they are very very viable especially if you take a ss4 vegeta friend who's 130 to hp and 170 to attack the additional stats and attack and defense obviously are what you wanted on the leader like this versus 170 to HP and defense or something, whatever. Anyways, so when it comes down to this team, there are a couple of things you need to know. So we need to dissect this unit first before we can proceed. So he does have the active skill, as you guys know, which allows him to basically launch a free super attack. Uh, and things like links and stuff and support are relevant for this active skill. So keep that in mind. Another thing that we want to consider is the way that he functions, right? He wants to get a nice amount of rainbow orbs and or STR orbs to make sure that he gets his ultra super every single turn. Now, with the additional key, it's not very hard to do that. But nonetheless, he does want to get it regardless. Also, he starts off with the defense and attack plus 20% of the start of each round up to 80%. The thing to know about that though is when we come down here, um, it actually doesn't say it. I don't know. I have to go back to this. I'm pretty sure that the, there was a post saying that you could get this even on turns he's not there but then there was a correction post on the reddit coming out uh that was about a week ago that said no he actually only gets this boost on the turns he's there i'd have to go back and actually literally test that i'm pretty sure it's when he's there though because of the way that his attack goes up with the way i monitor that type of stuff right i'm obviously super attack countering and stuff like that so link skills though super saiyan saiyan roar prepare for battle saiyan pride gt fierce battle and legendary power so the main triggers that you want to get for this man will be super saiyan and saiyan roar and of course, if you can, and of course, like Fierce Battle, right? But if you, that's, that goes without saying. And if you can, you want to obviously get Saiyan Pride and Legendary Power. So just for the sake of it, let's go ahead and pop up Saiyan Pride. There is one unit in particular that does have that and Legendary Power. Obviously, these two units right here can kind of meet that requirement for you if you're looking for something like that specifically. So let's go ahead and fill out the team. So obviously, you guys heard me just say the main links that you want on this man will be Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, and Fierce Battle. Now, there is one unit that actually is not a part of this category that you can put on this team that would trigger that and also more, which would be SS3 GT Goku. He offers those exact links. He also does have the GT link, so that helps too. He also does have a 33 or so percent passive, so he is really, really powerful, so I would consider that. He doesn't get the main leader skill, but again, he'll bring out some of the best in this man here. Another very, very good honorable mention will be SS4. GT Goku, the old well, GT obviously, but the old SS4 STR Goku. So same scenario brings out the best in this man, even triggers I believe more links with him, but nonetheless brings out the best in him and you can run him alongside him on a rotation. You'd be well off, you'd be good to go. So consider that as well. So I am not going to conclude them for this video, but they are some of the best possible options, even though I'm going for a full category build for the most part. Obviously, another honorable mention will be a STR type support like Kaba, STR Kabas, things like that. So let's fill out the team. So when it comes to this, like you notice that there are a lot of very, very good Vegeta units. You have SSG, you have Rage, you have the new Awakening for Physical and then the STR that we looked at, and then the Battlefield Awakenings. And there's just a lot here that you can really look at. So I want to go ahead and start off by pointing out that this man here has gone from basically zero to hero. Like people have considered him to be one of the worst summonable LRs, which is not a bad thing. There's so many of them. But he's really, really good on a team like this because of the way that he functions and being able to be a unit that can output very, very well. So he is one of your top candidates for this type of team. No, you cannot run this man. He shares the same name as the leader, so you can't run him at all. So he's literally irrelevant unless you're doing the thing where you have to use one of these guys as your leader. If you're using him as your leader, then obviously you can bring this man. You'd be well off. All right, so let's get out of here. But it goes without saying that, obviously, if you don't have the main leader, you want to bring the sub leader. So <laughs> there we go. So we have that. But what we're going to do is we're going to put in some of the better options. So we have Rage Vegeta. The defense and the countering and all that stuff, the offensive output, he is 
basically a shoe in for this category. He deserves to be here, does very, very well on this team. Another unit that you would want to consider that literally belongs on this team and nowhere else would be Bulla, but she's kind of hiding. I believe she's hiding somewhere in here, but well, there she is. Wherever she is, she goes on this team basically mandatory. She's just too dang good not to be here. If you don't want to run her, that's fine. There are other options like the SS, Father, Son, Gallic Gun, Trunks, you know, stuff like that if you're looking for support specifically. If not, you can kind of go from there. Now, who else do we want to include on this team? Well, we have SSBE. SSBE, again, another very, very powerful Vegeta option. Deserves to be on this team if you have him. And we'll come back and we'll take a look at some of the replacement options in a little bit as well. And SSBE, again, does trigger some of those relevant links. Super Saiyan, you know, having access to prepare for battle and fierce battle. That's basically all that you need, right? So what I would do with these last couple of spots is obviously this man comes back. And you want to have a rotation of these guys here. Right, And then for the last spot, we will look at a unit. This is where you get a little bit of flexibility, though, I will say. You can go this, right? This works. But then you need to consider how you want to handle your second rotation. If you want SSBE or SS4 Vegeta on rotation, that's what you need to kind of decide, right? Now, also, you can do the thing where you have SS4 and SSBE on rotation, and then you wind up floating this man. As a floater, he does trigger Saiyan Pride and... Uh, legendary power as an off rotation unit so he's a very viable option there as well but what i would honestly do in this slot would be to put one of the uh str goku options here again because of the links that they would trigger but that's basically it it comes down to what you want to do and i know that there's probably a better peak offensive team that's not the way i handle my team build guys if you're listening like wait wouldn't you put so and so so you can get more offense sure that's just not the way i handle my team building guides i try to get peak efficiency and stuff like that and you know really really show off units that can basically output very well uh but this is pretty much it so like you have additional attacker right here who's going to obviously be very very good offensively especially because he can transform you have a counter hitter who's basically an additional attacker you have one of the best supporters in the game hands down like top two i would say with her and turles maybe even top three but nonetheless you have her you have trunks here who is a, a unit that can pop off the additional uh, super attacks, of course. It's not built in, but he's free additional, even if you don't have dupes. And he has crits built into his kit. So you basically have a unit that outputs a ton of damage because critical hits. And then you have your leader. So this is a five-man team. The last spot is highly flexible. Can be another support unit. Ideally, it's a Goku option. Could be uh, SS3 Vegeta here if you want him as another defensive option. Don't need it. It could be SSG. Very, very good, well-rounded option for that last spot. Could be anyone you want. Could be this man as well or even this man here because they trigger the same necessary link as an off-rotation floater. Legendary Power and Saiyan Pride would both be triggered here. So you can do what you want to do with that last spot. You can even go... Uh, I guess that's basically it. That's all I'd really consider. This man's really, really good, you know, but he's one of my replacement options that I'll talk about in a moment. So here's that father son Gallic Gun Trunks I was talking about as an off rotation unit that does work. Or you can, I don't know, put someone else in. So that's basically it. That's basically the team that you would want to build. Let's go ahead and look at some replacement options. If you don't have Bulla, any other support does work. If you don't want to run a support, any other offensive unit does work. Now, if you don't have your leader, obviously, this man would be your, uh, I would say, honestly, honestly, let me go ahead. I would say that this man right here is your next best target, I would say, just because I really, really, really think this Vegeta winds up being uh, just a smidge better than this one, just the way he, he works. As far as my showcases have gone, I am a lot more impressed with this man than I am with the STR. Whichever you prefer, though, doesn't matter. You can even run both. Whatever. Do what you want. Right? But they're both some of the best possible options for this team. So we're going to put them on the team as more or less like a secondary option. I'm going to eliminate SSRs from this list because there's a lot of like duplicates and stuff. So this is what we're left with, right? So what I would do from here is, again, strongly consider dipping into STR units as options because you do have the entirety of the Super STR pool. Uh, well, no, actually, with this, you kind of don't. What do you have here? With this setup you have, oh, you do. You have three key 90%. You can still, with him as your leader, dip into that and look at what you want, right? Now, another off-rotation Saiyan Pride unit, by the way, I meant to mention this, I forgot, would be this man, but he does have a secondary sub-leader. Honestly, for consistency's sake, if you do run any other STR units that are not a part of this, this man would be your leader. Just because he's more consistent, you don't want to run this one as your leader, digging into physical while you take a friend SS4 who doesn't support the physicals at all. You'd want to keep that STR cohesion there, right? So this is the better option as a leader, uh, despite being, again, I, in my opinion, not the better of the two. But... Let's go ahead and go from here. So another option would be this man. This guy is really, really good. Outputs very, very well on this team. Let's go ahead and pull him up, in fact. 
So the way that he functions is passive skill, attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional two key and 20% attack when HP is 80% or below. That is really, really good value. Plus another 50% attack uh, when HP is 50% or below. Does have Fierce Battle, does have Saiyan Pride, does have Prodigies, does have Super Saiyan, does have Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage, and Prepare This is like the best possible Link set. <laughs> so he actually is a really, really, really good option. He might even be good enough to be uh, considered for the better option that I had, the main option. But nonetheless, that man deserves a spot on this team. So there you go. And for the last couple of spots, I wouldn't really – the thing about this team is I wouldn't really consider Trunks options. Like, I wouldn't consider him too much just because of the way his secondary passive works. He's still good without it, but you obviously want the secondary passive. This man is a defensive unit. I wouldn't consider him for the most part. If you were going to run something like that, there are better units that kind of do a little bit of both. Uh, I would consider this man maybe with an easy A over this Trunks. It's just little things like that. The Trunks units are eh for the most part unless you're running the LR option, the main LR option. Uh, this in Trunks – can be competitive, but still wouldn't consider him for the most part. The Super Trunks is whatever. Your best Trunks to consider is basically this man. Otherwise, you want to run the LR. So you can do that. Put him on a team, go double support. That's an option for you. Especially because support's a little bit more valuable in a setup where you don't have 170% attack between both leaders, right? So I would go with something like this. And you can also include an STR Orb Changer to kind of give you a little bit more flexibility. Also, a support unit I've slept on, slept on excuse me, for the entirety of this would be this guy. Very, very powerful, but we'll go from there. We'll take him out, and for the last spot, we will include, we'll go SSG. How about that? How about that? So the way that this setup would work is your primary rotation would be this guy here alongside this guy here. They'd be on rotation, and then your secondary rotation would be the two SSs over here, and then everybody else would be your floater. Which is next? Yeah, everybody else will be the floater. These two do trigger Super Saiyan, Saiyan Pride, and Royal Lineage. No, 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 Fierce Battle. So there's not a lot of synergy here with SSG, unfortunately. So what I would actually consider doing, if you do run SSG, would be to run another over in a Flash unit. So that way you do have a little bit more coverage as far as that's concerned. But really, you can just do this. I didn't want to do this. You can go double STR because they do share over in a Flash, right? And then on the second setup, you can do him and then the physical Vegeta that I just took off. And you'd be well off. So these guys link just as well, four links, and they actually do share three key links. So this is actually a little bit better. I just don't like going double element on one. So you can do that and that here, and then float these two and uh, the friend leader or whatever the case is. Or if you're taking the friend leader as a main rotation unit, you would probably bounce him as a floater and then just have the friend unit, the LR, alongside this man here. Then we'll actually include him for a little bit more synergy. It doesn't really matter, though, because he's sharing really, really good links with the most part. But his best link buddy is this Super Saiyan Vegeta. So these two on rotation. The friend, of course, if you don't own him. These two on another. And then floating these. And then you go from there. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, all together, though, the Vegeta lineage is very, very powerful. Outputs very, very well. You have very, 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 very good options. And, of course, I didn't include, actually, this guy can be on this team, too. There's just a lot, right? So kind of. Make it how you, how you want it with what you have. So thank you all for tuning in. I'll catch all of you in the next one.